what's going on? All right, so this is sort of uh, a tool with a tool, two minute tool review, whatever you want to call it. So I have the this infra ray, right? Infra ray, infra, infra, ray. yeah. Okay, so this is the P2 Pro. So I have the iOS version of it or the lightning. And as you can see by the creepy camera person on there, right? So this is a lightning cable base. They have a USB-C, but this is an infrared camera. Now this camera is operating solely, right? So it's not using the camera on your phone, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. I will show you this part in a minute, but what I'm gonna show you here is we're gonna walk around the house. It's gonna detect the camera. It has an app that you can download. And we're gonna do some general things that you would use this camera for, like identifying you know, vampire devices, things that are pulling power in your house, okay? I will also show you, we're gonna get close on the screen here. If you look really careful, you can see sort of my bullseye and that's the temperature of the bullseye. And then if you look here, we get two other temperatures, right? So it's showing our hot spot and it's showing our cold spot in the room. So if we go ahead and move it up to the ceiling here, you can see that this corner wall is cold, but by based on our colors, we also have another cold spot there. Now I could go ahead and put my bullseye on that, find out what temperature that is. You can see here it's detecting a hot spot. This is a great way of finding if we have insulation missing, like corners are always colder and always a problem area. If we go into the kitchen, you can see here, we obviously have some framing here, but it's also a cold spot. Probably means we just need to put more blow-in insulation. I'm gonna go out to the pack-out garage as always, but if you look, right, we're detecting reflections off of appliances, that's normal. The garage is not heated, so it's gonna show colder, 66 degrees. But seeing as that we don't have a garage an insulated garage door, you can see the heat from outside. And then it's detecting hot spots from the lights. Uh, we'll come out and we'll turn around. And if we look at the chargers, you can see every little bit of them and what's going on here. Look at that. Batteries. Looks like we're getting reflections from metal objects. We can see we go to the attic, we've got some hot spots. So right now it's winter time, if you want to call it that in Florida. So we're actually going to see probably more heat on the outside and less on the inside, the lights. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you a couple other things. We're going to walk inside. The camera person is going to follow me and we'll be able to see some stuff. Now at this last little bit, I'm going to hit the record button and this will go ahead and record on the device itself. You can take pictures. So check this out. It's also great for electronics, appliances, if you want to troubleshoot. And I'm going to go a little more in depth, but this is a 3D printer. And if you look here, this is the heat bed and it's showing the temperature of that. And then I am going to go like that. And you can see there it's showing 330 degrees because obviously the printer, if she shows there, has temperature. Now, this printer, when it runs, these little stepper motors will move and do stuff. And as they do stuff, they will heat up. So it's a great way to troubleshoot electronics. And speaking of electronics, watch this. So I'm going to walk over here. I've got a buck converter plugged in. Okay. Now I'm going to grab this little adapter. It's magnetic. It goes on here. And what this allows me to do is it's a macro lens, meaning that is what it would look like normally but I can get really close now. And if you look where these resistors are and that little IC, look on the camera. So if you wanted to troubleshoot a laptop problem or a board heating up, you could see where all the heat is coming from on the board. So this is pretty cool. I'd say the uh, only downside is, is I don't know how to say that perfectly, but I realized that if this was a two minute tool review that it would probably have been done over. But it's super cool. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. I'll add that little video clip in to this. I'm going to put a link in the description for this because if you don't want to buy a special thermal camera and you just want to have this on you when you're doing home inspections or, you know, troubleshooting furnaces, things like that, and you're trying to look for a burn on a board, being able to have this 
in just like a little pouch in your bag, pull out your phone, it's gonna make troubleshooting all kinds of things. Insulation, moisture, bad computer boards, bad circuit boards, hot outlets, you name it. It's gonna make it a lot easier. So make sure you check out the link in the description and uh, do me a favor, comment below what you would use this for. I, I love this technology and I loved it when it came out a, lot, a while ago and I like the fact that we can get it in such a cool form factor. So let me know what you think. You guys have a good one.